Good morning, everybody. This is Rocket Rolls coming at you. And let me see if I can do this off the top of my head. I'm going to give you a 600 mile review on the 2020 Honda Africa Twin 1100A, which is the manual transmission for any of you not familiar with the nomenclature. We are going to try to wrap this up in a very you know concise assessment of the motorcycle and my experience as an owner of it over the last um, month or so I um, purchased this bike it was you know leftover stock I bought it maybe actually about the same week that the 2021's came in okay so but a lot of people want to know, let's see, um, they list priced the motorcycle for 12500 I did finance it, um, didn't really get any add-ons, I have since purchased a taller windshield for the bike, I've also purchased um, some handguard deflectors, which are more you know, they do keep the air off your hands, but it's more for aesthetics than anything. Um, I have purchased an Alt-Rider rear seat plate, which I use in place of a tail plate. Um, I put my top case on there. Um, I prefer the rear seat plate because it allows for um, me to move the center of gravity forward on the bike. And you know, I, I I don't ride with pillions, so it also, even though I don't really lean against it, it, it provides a somewhat of a backrest. I have two different shad top cases, and um, I've attached the shad plate to the alt rider plate, and I can swap out between my two shad cases. Come on, come on, go ahead, you're good. I can alternate between my shad top cases um, as I so desire. I purchased this motorcycle because I wanted to um, get a little more power and a little bit more seat height from the Honda CB500X that I owned prior to this. I rode the Honda CB500X for Ooh, three years three riding seasons definitely yeah, three years and um, so far I, I, I love owning this Africa twin I um, especially love the power to weight ratio gains that I took on I fully appreciate the electronics package um, I've got some separate videos where I talk more about the various electronics packages um, the riding modes the ABS brakes the traction control the wheelie control um, this bike features all of those things and I know some people don't care for them well you might not want to buy this bike it did take me about a good solid month to really learn and understand a lot of the nuances of the electronics package um, I tend to ride in a personally configured user mode one and um, when I'm not in that out of the preset riding modes I tend to go with urban mode more than any of the others uh, it's the differences are the, the, the variances in the power, um, the variances in the torque control, and I will say this, one thing I think a lot of people don't realize, the variances in the power are really just more along the lines of how sensitive the throttle is in the first quarter, first half, first three quarter turn. Um, all the riding modes, maximum power can be achieved if you go full throttle in each of the respective riding modes so um, like I said I'm enjoying the bike the bike is running well I haven't had any technical difficulties outside of the time when 
I broke the bike. Um, I did break um, the lever on the left foot gear shift, um, but I fixed it. It wasn't literally broke. I just unscrewed it, trying to adjust it. And again, there's a video on that as well. A lot of people ask about, you know, how I like the bike, how it handles, especially, you know, compared to the smaller bike. And, you know, I think it's a re very reasonable upgrade. I'm going to be really honest. I was a little iffy on the, on the feel of the rod until yesterday when I made some adjustments, adjustments to my preload, both front and back. It was just too hard. And I don't know if that was if I turned the knob and made it too hard or if, you know, I think somebody in the showroom may have done it. I don't know if the guys adjusted it when they sold it to I me. Mean, they may have. And some people prefer that harder ride. Um, but I actually prefer um, somewhat of a softer ride. I mean, especially when you're riding around the city, you're hitting potholes and speed bumps and all that kind of crap. And um, since I've made these adjustments to the preload, I really like the way the bike feels, especially in my, um, in my urban commuting. Um, for those of you who don't know, um, the gas tank holds about five gallons. Uh, the light comes on after about three and a third. But, um, so, um, you know, there's, there's plenty of fuel here. Gas mileage, I've been getting about 48 in the city, 52 you know, on the highway, I'm um, still, you know, still looking at that. I'm, those are rough numbers and we'll see. I got a feeling um, some really harder urban riding will deliver something lower than the 48. And I think if I really spent some significant time on the highway, I can get it above that 52. Uh, let's see. Um, I've definitely, you know, just become accustomed to you know really riding this taller bike it is a tall bike it is top heavy that is a warning to you if you just like the look of the africa twin and you think you want one and you're not comfortable riding bikes with you know a high center of gravity or just riding tall bikes you don't want this bike go rent one and ride it and get a feel for what i'm saying but you, you really don't want this bike unless you're prepared to ride a tall bike and um, you know depending on where you live in the country you may or may not need uh, you know an adventure bike or a dirt bike with a 21 inch front wheel because you know I can tell you where I live you know the dirt is very uncommon I can go find gravel I really do plan on taking the bike on some trips riding the BDR probably this summer and um, if not this fall if not this month for that matter and you know might do a little bit of tat in the next year or two but definitely going to travel the tat in about three years um and then you know the life of this africa twin may be in the hands of another owner after that after that point so that's kind of my intentions with the motorcycle and like i said it really does handle well it sounds well i'm going with the stock pipe um, for those of you that don't know, the bike weighs about 500 pounds um, out the box. The motorcycle has six gears, comes at 1,084 cc's. It's running a 270 degree crank parallel twin. Um, the seat height is adjustable. There's a high seat height and a low. I'm going to say the high is about 35.5 and the low is about 33.5. Um, I could be off by an inch or something. But um, I tend to ride with the high seat level. Now, when I had that preload cranked up, it was even taller than that. And that honestly, it was too tall. So I'm, I'm back down to where I really wanted it to be. Uh, one of the things about this bike, it does come in DCT. I did get the manual. Um, I know a lot of people were mentioning the DCT really shifts up in gears really quickly, quicker than they would prefer. 
but I'll tell you this even in manual you can really shift up pretty quickly on this and you know there's a there's a lot of pull there's a very even torque curve on this bike it has a lot of pull in third fourth fifth gear I mean I've accidentally stopped in fifth gear not re realized it and been able to just take off from a stop in fifth um, I actually just stopped in third just now unintentionally and I'm not worried about it at all um, I may give it a little clutch as I'm starting out but it it definitely will pull there it is a third gear stop speed limits 35 maybe I should slow down and it's a great machine the engine is wonderful I know there's some bigger engines out there in the adventure world um, definitely if you're doing some really you know long highway runs with two up and loaded down with gear you know the additional horsepower of a Ducati or BMW might be something you desire but it's really not necessary on this bike I'll tell you that um, I did upload, I mean, um, upgrade my software package. I did it myself. I'm using a little USB and, um, I'm working on, I'm working with the Android Auto, which works perfectly. And, crap. I'm flicking around with my face shield because it's fogging up and probably just because I'm running my mouth, but hey. So, everything about this bike is, you know, I'd say top-notch, rider-friendly. Um, I know there's some other ADVs that might be better for a different job. Like I said, the BMW may be your preference for some long touring two-up. Um, the Yamaha Tenere definitely it's a more simpler package I, you know I've, I've, I've been on the Tenere uh, it's lighter than this bike by about 50 pounds so if you want to go do a little bit more off-riding with your adventure bike you may want to go Tenere um, definitely more off-roady you might want to go with a Husqvarna 701 or KTM 690 um, but that's not you know my forte and surprisingly even though there is a 21 inch wheel on here I like the way this bike handles on the road and I actually like the I like the 21 inch for its stability I mean I kind of feel like I'm I don't know I need to check the rake on this but kind of feels like a raked out Harley in a way so all in all good purchase um, definitely I suggest you ride one before you purchase one I definitely like the handle of this since I've softened up the preload I can't stop saying that and um, Maya Angelo Learning Center miles before a turn okay got a ways to go only halfway there and this is the first time I've actually rode this way you got you know if you all follow some of my um, urban commuting videos you might have gotten accustomed to me taking the freeway into town and I'm actually not doing that today I, I set up the app to not put me on the highway so it avoided the parkway and it S sending me down um, Central Avenue which will become East Cap it is East Capitol Street at this point um, it's gonna be more stoplights gonna be moving at a slower pace is more to see of course definitely 
you know, more traffic, which is cool. As you can see, traffic's not that bad. It's still a little early. What time is it? Well, maybe, it's, maybe it's not that early. It's 7.30. It's not that early. I was actually, you know, I was going to telework today, and I was having some issues accessing the, um, the payroll system, time and attendance. So I'm going to go into the office and see if that fixes my network issues. And if it doesn't, I gotta sign off time on my employees today. I hate when, you know, you get those technical difficulties. You know, you got two weeks, and it's one morning when you gotta get the time done, and that's the morning when I had my technical difficulties. I mean, it was working fine on Friday. Um, yeah, here we are on um, East Capitol Street, and, um, well, we're on this side of the street, so Northeast DC over there on the other side of the street is southeast dc um headed towards downtown we should be looking at the capitol building in a few minutes oh we've got to cross the river first once we cross the river we'll probably be looking at the capitol and oh, i'm supposed to be talking about the africa twin my bad i'll probably cut the video short we don't need to do the full 30 minutes so that really uh, maybe I'll just slice out. Haven't had any issues, like I said, other than me breaking the bike. No issues with the motorcycle. Um, it is exactly what I expected it to be. Um, I think the one downside to this bike was something I was fully aware of and prepared for, which is the top heaviness of it and just the riding the 21 inch wheel in the city. I actually prefer to ride ADV bikes in the city because I like having something that can handle um, the potholes and the poor main, poorly maintained streets you can encounter sometimes. Um, definitely more comfortable than riding a street bike, excuse me, a uh, sport bike. It's, mm, you know, a, a scrambler would be cool in the city. Um, I like that blend because, you know, you guys know I do a mixture of riding and even on my commute sometimes I'm on the highway. So I do want some type of windshield on the bike and I'd like to be able to go from urban to suburban to rural. Sometimes all in the course within one ride. And ADV, bike, ADV bikes really give you that flexibility. So, there's the Capitol and the Washington Monument straight ahead. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm not exactly sure how I need to hold the camera so you guys can see stuff. I need to experiment with that a little bit. You know, I'm still wearing this new helmet. I could have done a review on the helmet for 600 miles or 400 miles, whatever it's been. But I'm um, wearing this Sedici Strata Dino, Dino, however they say it. Um, Sedici Strata 2. It's it's a nice helmet, and you know what's feeling a little tight at once upon, once upon a time. It's began to you know really conform and shape to my head, and now I like it. It's like a perfect fit, and I'm really feeling this helmet at this point. I'm glad I bought it. It does have a a sun shield whatever you call it dark visor it flips down haven't really I used it I want to say yesterday but really for the first time and that worked out fine I think it is pin lock ready but I don't do pin locks I just open up my visor when I fog up and you know, I did install my Cardo Freecom in the helmet and you guys may have seen my install video, um, which isn't the best, but it's actually it's like my most viewed video. I'm inclined to do another one, another install video. But um, I love the helmet. Let me just say that. Paid about two thirty for it. It is ECE rated. Um, I want to say it's the ECE 05 and not the 06. So. I'll probably, 
I'm gonna buy a couple more helmets in the next year or so. Um, I'd like to. I mean, I have. Listen, y'all know how it is with me and gear. I own one, two, three, four, four helmets that I fit. Mm, at least one helmet, which is really um, my daughter's. And that's five helmets. And um, I got like seven jackets. At least one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven pairs of gloves. Um, at least four pair of Kevlar riding pants, two other winter riding pants. Mm, what am I doing here? I don't know. I'm trying to, okay. I mean, the, maybe I should just stop watching the navigation and just drive because I know exactly where I'm at. But um, now we're on Capitol Hill, Washington, D.C. Haven't really done any in the city riding. I'm going to do that. I'm going to make a video for you guys right now. So, you know, I'm going to clip this up. Just stop. What the heck? Did none of that get recorded? You gotta be kidding. I didn't record any of that. Ain't this some crap. I'm not going back around the block yet. Let me play with this first. <laughs> 